Hi guys, welcome back. So in the previous one, we did a login page and then uh, we can have any email and then login. We might need a logout button as well. So we'll implement that in this one. So let me go back to this index page. This is where we might want to log out. So I'll have a um, condition maybe if uh, the user is present. If dollar user dot email in that case we will have this logout button uh, p tag logout and i will end this uh, now we might need a class of some kind i'll call this switch and on click we want something to happen here on click we want to log out right so logout function is not there let's create that false uh, this will be an asynchronous function i think and then here uh, we'll go to authentication login let me search for logout yeah, user logout should be simple and I'll paste it here. So once we log out, we may have to reassign uh, the user to false because we don't want user object to be present even after logging out. And also we may want to go to the login page once uh, we are done here. Okay. Now, if we come back here, we have logout. Uh, I had a class for that, right? Something called uh, switch. So I'll just use that here. Dot switch. I'll make the color to something else. Light C green or something. And then uh, cursor. pointer so and uh, let's see uh, on hover let it uh, mm, have a text decoration of uh, underline that that no that way it might look like a link maybe I should have used sky blue or something Yeah, that will be in sync with uh, this check mark. Okay, so if I click on this, the user should log out and also go to the login page. Okay, now if I come back to the home page, the user object is not there. Uh, let me go back to login here. So here we are showing sign up and login, uh, both of them at the same time, which shouldn't be the case. So let's go back to the login. Page. See, you can create uh, pages uh, as per your convenience, but here what I'm doing here, you know, is um, I will have a variable here. Let is uh, new registration. I'll have this as false. So with this, uh, I will check whether somebody is trying to register. Uh, for a new registration, then I only I will have sign up. So I can have something like uh, if is new registration, then sign up. Else, um, and, okay. And uh, that's not all. I might need one more thing. Uh, below sign up button, I might need a paragraph which says um, already have an account question mark. So if a user already has an account, uh, they can switch to login. So that's what the, uh, they should see the login button. 
so in uh, below this login button uh, what we need is uh, here we have we'll have create a new account maybe question mark okay so I will have the class uh, for this class equals uh, I already have switch right I'll use that uh, but the problem is switch is not global so I will use global here around it um, I will have to do the same thing for this hover let's see uh, okay login create new account yeah it should have gotten it uh, let me go back to the index page and come back here and yeah so it's working now okay so now on clicking this on clicking um, already have an account we should see login so what we do is on click we will do something like is new registration uh, equals false now similarly in this paragraph on click we'll do is new registration true So what happens here is create a new account, it will become sign up here, already have an account, it becomes login here. So I can go here and create a new account, uh, something, uh, john at email.com, I can sign up. So it will be john, I can log out, it will go back here and I can try my previous email, share up that email, which all, you know, I already have this account. So I can log in with this and it will go back there. So this is how we can uh, you know, log out and log in using email in using Superbase. Now in the next one, I will uh, try to enable row level security for our table uh, that is to do's, right? So I'll do that and let's see how it goes. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.